Hey everybody, welcome back to another beer review on my channel. Zama Brewing out of Corvallis, Oregon. Deadline Pilsner. Pretty simple. There it is. All right, Mazama Brewing, Deadline Pilsner. Moose sucking up some water, mountains in the background, a little canoe, a tree, some kind of tree. Campground, campfire, you know, basics, but I just like the can. There is no more detail on the can. This is not a new release. I actually found reviews going back two years to 2016. The website gives a brief description. I mean, their, their website's really not good. It says here, just like the refreshing waters of Deadline Falls, this Pilsner sure quench your thirst. This complex, strong colored beer has a bright clarity to it. I don't know if this is seasonal or all year. I've never heard of a Pilsner that's seasonal. This can cost me $1.59. Malty with bready crackery notes, balanced by spicy floral hops, gives away to a crisp, dry finish. That's it. Pilsner malt. Now they say bready crackery, which I expect that. Spicy floral hops, that could be several of them. One that I think of as being the most spicy be sauce. Uh, Czech sauce. There are others known for it. This should be a light body beer. 5.7% alcohol. I don't know the IBUs. Straw or a very pale color. Clear, it should be. I expect them to be maybe a little bit sweet, definitely floral, some bready notes to it, easy drinking. That would help. Okay, there we go. Now we can see it. That is as clear straw as you can get. Completely transparent. You can see me and my fingers through it. They likely only use Pilsner malt clarified it probably through a kettle or a cake fine cake finding such as Irish moss, wolf lock, probably cold crashed and maybe filtered, hard to say. Nothing floating in it. Lightly carbonated, barely any bubbles going up. The head has died down. It was about a quarter of an inch now it's roughly eighth of an inch. It's leaving lace on glass as you can tell. But it's just a typical pulser appearance. It's that straw clear color. I get clean aromas out of it. There's a slight hint of something in the background. I can't quite tell what it is. That's a floral note. I'm noticing a little bit of that uh, malt note in there from like the cracker, the bread, and just a clean, pure smell. There's no spicy or floral in the hops. Coats about 80 to 90 percent of the roof of my mouth, just a little bit on my tongue. Fully covers the top section there with a little bit of sweet, a little bit of malt. Sweet on the palate. There could be a little bit of dough or bread in there. I'm not quite picking that up yet. Light, closing a medium body. I'm not tasting a floral or fruity or spiciness out of it at this point. No citrus or tanginess, no fruit, no candy, no toffee, no bread, grain, cracker, dough. I usually expect a Pilsner to be crisp, clean, and bright. Bright on the palate, no. It has a fairly clean flavor, but there's something in the background that's standing out a little bit. It's a little heavier than a typical lager. It just feels like it's weighing down me just a little bit more. I am a little disappointed that I'm still not getting floral or spicy out of hops. I thought this might be a little uh, thin and watery being a Pilsner. Just a touch of a chewiness in there. This is not a complex recipe. I don't think there's more than two malts at the most and probably more than one hop in it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just not quite what I was expecting as far as flavor goes. Spicy now, bubbly, 90% on the roof. Sticks around for just a little bit. It's like a paintbrush going back and forth. It tastes medium body. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. Still no floral, still no bread crack or anything else. So far, the only difference I can tell, the spiciness is there. Still has those chewy attributes, not watery. I think they're trying to get most of the flavors, probably from the hops. Pilsner doesn't really have much to it, even though I said bread, bread great crack or all that. It's not really known to be a flavorful malt. It's a base malt for sugars. So between the glass and the can, yeah, the only thing I get new is that little bit of spiciness. 
no off flavors. There's no chemical DMS, diacetyl, paint thinner solvents, uh, rotten fruit DMS, astringency. From an aluminum can, there's no metallic. It tastes pretty solid overall there. Would I buy this again? Probably not, just because I wasn't that impressed with it. It doesn't really stand out. It's not bad, but there's just nothing great about it. Would I recommend it? I would, yes. If you like builders, you want to try something new, give us one a shot. You might love it. I think it's average. It's okay. I'm not impressed, but, you know, I mean, if I was given one, I wouldn't turn it down. I wouldn't tell anybody not to buy it. Mazama Brewing, Corvallis, Oregon, Deadline Pilsner. If you have any comments, feedback, uh, yeah, have anything to say about this or the reviews in general, let me hear them. That's all I have for this review. I'm going to finish my beer off. Cheers. I forgot to say what the alcohol might be. I forgot to check all that. Uh. You know, sometimes the hops are the most, I, 